While observing Irena's lessons, I recall the mother of one of her students who exclaimed, "I wish I had her as a teacher when I was a child." I can say the same. Being Irena's student must be very exciting, especially if you, like Mariana Olizola, are working on the third piano concerto by Beethoven. First, you have to learn it well. You study it with Irena, then practice on your own, then bring it to Irena again. At a certain moment, you start to work on it with Ralitza, who plays the orchestra part. And of course, it's very exciting, not just for you, but for your parents and friends as well, when you play it with a real orchestra. It's not surprising that many of Irena's students choose to become professional musicians. Irena has established contacts with prominent musicians such as Eliso Versalazzi, Julian Martin, and Santiago Rodriguez. To them, she passes the torch, and they continue to teach Irena's former students. Irena Orlov is a very special person in many, for many different reasons. Uh, not only is she a wonderful person and a uh, delight to know, but Irena is also one of the icons of the Washington D.C. area as far as teaching, because she has had such great success with her students uh, year after year. She turns out some of the best students we have heard here in this area, and her uh, the combination of her personality and. Um, the passion that she has for what she does. It's things that we can all learn from, and I find myself constantly learning from Irena and getting emotionally involved with her work and with her students. She has sent me quite a few students that I have accepted into my class, and I'm very happy with them. And they all bring the same sort of uh, passion for music and passion for different facets of life. And, uh, that I find that that doesn't come from every student that comes to me, that usually comes from Arena students. Arena is infectious and that is a great uh, compliment to her and to her life that she can infect everybody with this beauty uh, that she has in her and this passion for what she does. And sometimes we all need to be reminded of that. So I'm very happy to be uh, her friend anyways. Anyway.